I will be honest, when I heard the news of Paragon shutting down, it was a deadly blow to my heart. For those who identify with the core potential in the action of a 3D mobile game, Paragon was an evolution to League of Legends, games like Smite, games like Dota, and I enjoyed jungling with Crunch, using Wukong from time to time with a thousand hairs, and sometimes I even run offlane with my favorite hero ever, Revenant. Paragon was a game that made me love MOBA once more, out and away from all the toxicity and all the copy and paste MOBAs out there. This is why it was both an honor and a privilege when Undying Games reached out to me. In the first statement about the game when I saw the email, they confirmed that they took top, mid and bottom lane seriously, a statement that I later came to understand few weeks after the email. While this game will not be a successor to Paragon, it is an achievement born out of cries, passion and desire of MOBA players. Ladies and gents, this is a thorough clash of souls. As someone who was willing to put in a founder support towards Paragon hundreds of dollars, I know a good game when I see one, I know potential when I see one. And while it is still in an alpha stage, it is getting better by the minute. The developers put the gears to the test with the MOBA evolving in a 3D space. We've all seen the wide spaces from games like Smite and Paragon. You've seen the angular views from games like Dota or games like League. What Undying Games brought to the table this time, it's a phenomenon in its time. The devs took the scenery to a whole new level by creating a first vertical experience I have seen in a MOBA game. You like running mid, top or bottom? Like I've mentioned, this is literally a possibility in Ethereum. This is an amazing thing. It's something that I've always wanted in a MOBA game. It's like the world of Amalur meeting together in the melting pot of MOBA knowledge. Though the graphics may not be impressive right now to a lot of guys watching, but remember this is still an alpha build. The game has its own core MOBA sets just like jungles, different monsters to kill for boons and bonuses, so much that it feels like you are playing a MOBA game, but something that is more evolved, to a whole new level. One thing that scares me however is the fact that the studio dreams big, and that could make or hurt the game. Will this be phenomenal if you have to traverse the planes for 2 to 3 minutes before getting to your previous point? There are amounts to get you there quickly from point A to point B, however, it is a question of how fast do they travel. What are the possibilities for close and ranged combat? This has been the question that the devs have slowly been able to answer with their developments and how the game has evolved. The character models are incredible, the scenery of the entire thing is amazing and even from the gameplay perspective, it is very promising. This is becoming a game that I will continue to cover and as most of you know I am a huge fan of good MOBAs and it actually hurt my soul when Paragon was shut down. This is a game that I believe that I can get lost in just by exploring its beautiful space and the lore. It feels like a new way and I hope that the team at Undying Games continue to work hard to bring us this amazing game. Now if you want to learn more about this game, you can check out their YouTube channel and I will continue to cover this game as I have mentioned right now and in the future. A huge thanks to the people at Undying Games for reaching out to me and also giving me access to their resources. Thanks guys and keep on doing what you love. And as always, it is the year signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.